we have discussed electric potential what is electric potential what was it just a recap i told you if there is an electric field or let's say we have a charge q1 because of this we have electrical electric potential at some point p if this distance is let's say r1 and because of p so r1 p this is position vector then i told you potential at p will be potential at p due to this charge q q1 this will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 by r1 p and you understand direction vector position vector all i am just explaining this to you and we have discussed the definition of potential that the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to this point that is electric potential now try to think we have done some work in bringing this particular charge from infinity to this point now this charge is placed at this point what where will this energy go the work done in bringing this from here to here capacity of doing work is energy so from here to here it comes where will this energy go this energy is stored at this point which is called potential energy electric potential energy so you get what is potential energy you must have studied in uh, gravitation also potential en energy and kinetic energy so we have electric potential at a point because of the uh, interaction of this charge with the electric field electric which electric field electric field produced by this q1 or if we have a uniform electric field the interact we have some interaction of a charge when placed in an electric field because of that interaction interaction we have electric potential energy more easy to understand is you uh, do work in bringing a charge from infinity to certain point in an electric field that work is stored as potential energy clear since we are talking of charges this is electric potential energy now let's say let's dig deeper into this let's say now we are not defining it we have another charge q2 and we have placed this charge q2 at this point let this be 2 or let's start afresh we don't have any electric field here we bring an a charge q1 from infinity to a point let's say p1 what is the work done zero why because there was no electric field since there was no electric field there was no force to oppose or to attract so bringing q1 in at a place in space where we do not have any electric field bringing it from infinity to this point the work done is zero okay i'm putting one to explain that this is related to q1 now let's bring another charge q2 from infinity to this point what will be the work done here see we'll have to know what is the distance between these two let this be r12 now we have an electric field because of q1 so work done in bringing q2 from infinity to this point p2 will be we know it is q into v so q into v at this point what will be v at this point it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 by r12 that is you can rearrange it properly this will be q1 q2 by this so if you have to know what is the potential energy of this system what you will do if this is 2 so net potential energy of this system will be w1 plus w2 that is this is 0 this is this so we will have because of the two charges net potential energy is this and you know in a conservative field potential energy plus kinetic energy and if there be any other energy then total energy is concerned whether it is conservative or non-conservative in conservative fields potential energy plus kinetic energy is conserved so what the, the significance of this is that if you if we know the potential energy and if we know the difference in potential energy if this system is somehow disturbed let's say q2 from here to here we displace q2 by certain amount then we have uh, difference in energy energy that energy will go as kinetic energy okay so we will use it in some examples this is the concept let's say we have third point p3 i'm just extending this so w1 in bringing this is zero w2 in bringing q2 is this now what when 
Q3 is brought to this point. Let's say the position vectors are this is 1, 2, 3. So R13 and this is 2, 3. Okay. Then what I am I'm writing here W3. W3 will be first of all it will have to counter this Q1. So from here the work done will be Q1 by R13 into Q2. Sorry, Q3. This is a potential into Q. This is work done. Again, potential into Q3. So here you will have 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q2 Q3 by R23. Okay. So here because of this is this and because of this is this. Now if you have to uh, know the total energy of this system, total potential energy of this system, we will just add this W1 plus W2 to plus W3. So this will be this plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q3 r1 3 and then 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 q3 r2 3. So this is the total uh, potential energy of the system. Either you can learn this by heart that in a system of charges we have this type of expression 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. If this is 1 2 the distance bit will be between 1 and 2 then 1 and 3 and then 2 and 3. If we have other charges, this will keep on adding. So either you can learn it by heart or you can every time start from scratch. Okay. Let's understand this by an example. We'll solve an example here. Okay. This is a very good example. You must understand it properly. We have an equilateral triangle with side A. Okay. The sides are A, A, A. Three charges are placed at the vertices plus Q, plus Q, and plus Q. Okay. So the first part of this question is what is the energy of this system, potential energy possessed by this system? So this will be this, 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 this. So what we can write? See Q1, Q2, Q3, all given Q. So this will be Q square, and this is A, A, A. So 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q square by A. Again, Q square by A, Q square by A. That is total energy of this system. Uh, you should not, we should not use W, we should use U. Actually, potential energy is represented normally with this letter U. So, you should, we should have written U equal to U1 plus U2 plus U3 instead of this one. Okay. So, this is 3 into 3 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q square by A because Q square by A and all three are same. So, this will be the total energy of this system. Okay. Easy. Very easy. Now, let this be with side A. It says, what will be the total work done in reducing the sides to A by 2? That is, we will have another equilateral triangle, but the length of the sides will be A by 2. So, obviously, we will have to apply energy. What will be that? So, we know that for A, energy is this. So, for A by 2, the energy will be 3 by 4 epsilon 0 q square a by 2 okay that is twice two twice of this u a so the change in energy that is the energy that we will have to put in will be u a by 2 minus u a clear we have to achieve this so this will be 2 u a into minus u a so this will be 2 u a minus u a that is u a so we will have to apply this much energy to reduce the sides of the triangle to a by 2. Clear? This is the second part. The third part is very interesting. Understand it properly. It says these masses, I am writing the energy. It says these, these charges have mass equal to m. Okay. So, at certain time they are released. So, all the three will just try to depart away okay now it says at certain point t equal to t1 let's say when the sides the length of the sides is now 2a okay so it says what will be the velocity of these particles these are three particles with mass m and charge q we, uh, and the energy of the system was this so the moment you release them they'll run away they'll depart away because all of them have same charge so this will run in this direction, this will run in this direction, this will run in this direction. After a certain time, obviously, there will be a point when, because 
they all have same masses and same charge they'll depart away at the same time that is at t equal to t1 all of them will cover the same distance so at certain time when this equilateral triangle is with side 2a what will be the velocity of the particle let's say v all of them will be having v what will be the velocity of the particle so we'll use the change in energy will be converted to kinetic energy very simple so what will be the change in energy first of all let's understand ua is this therefore u2a will be 3 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q square by 2a that is ua by 2 so change in energy will be this minus this clear this minus this will be change in energy that is ua by 2 ua minus ua by 2 so this is the change in energy where will this energy go this will this potential this change in potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy and what it will be kinetic energy you know it is half mv square now we have three particles so it will be three cross half mv square this energy will be converted to this equally distributed uh, amongst the three so this will be equal to ua by 2 that is what was ua 3 so 3 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q square by 2a this is our uh, ua by 2 so v square v square will be v square it will be 2 2 cancel 3 3 cancel so it is simply 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q square by m and v square so this will be root over this so this is the velocity of the particle when it will reach this point and what is this point this is the point when this equilateral triangle will be having having side sides equal to 2a you have understood this this is a very conceptual question okay okay so let's see another example based on simple potential energy we have a square the length of the sides let's say a a a a a and we have four charges plus q placed at the corners plus q okay now if you are asked what is the potential energy of the system you know how to uh, proceed what you will do net potential energy of the system let's say this was blank without any electric field when we brought this particle so first will be zero okay then second when we brought this so this will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 that is k q into q q square by a okay then let's say uh, this one where this will have energy because of this and this what will this be this will be root over 2a so because of this it will have this only k q square by a because of this it will have k q square by root 2a okay and then finally let's bring this charge so because of this it will be k q square by a then because of this k q square by a and because of this k q square by root 2a so you cannot add all of them you have k q square 1 2 3 4 so this will be 4 k q square by a and then you have q square by root 2a two times see this one and this one so it will be root 2 k q square by a because 2 into root 2 will be root 2 so you can say 4 plus root 2 into k q square by a so this will be the net potential energy of the system now if you are asked what is the potential energy of this charge because of these charges now i'm not not talking of the potential energy of the whole system i am asking potential energy of this because of this this and this how we'll find potential energy will be q into v so let's find out what is the potential at this point because of this this and this and then we'll multiply it with this what is the potential at this point because of this it will be k q by a then again k q by a okay this and then k q by root 2a so this is the potential and we'll multiply it with q we'll get potential energy experienced by this uh, charge so this will be equal to see this is 2 
kq square we i am taking kq square by a common so what you will have 2 plus 1 by root 2 okay so this is the potential energy of this charge clear now let me give you another example you will be asked so many questions i have given you two examples you will be asked so many questions based on these two examples the, in the examination you will have figures that charges uh, let's say 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs the distance is 10 centimeters so fine the concept is this you can just calculate now let's understand one another uh, one more example concept that you will be asked in many examinations let's say we have a particle of mass m okay which is traveling at a speed of v it has a charge q1 now we have another particle q2 at rest here and it is that is it cannot move it is static here this charge is static okay now this charge is coming obviously because of kinetic energy it will go up to certain point from where it will return why because of repulsion so what will be the closest point let's say that this is the point this is the point till which it goes this energy becomes zero with this velocity becomes zero and then re returns back so what is this distance let's say r what is r very easy what is the kinetic energy half mv square okay this will be at this point equal to the potential energy experienced by this charge at this point so the potential energy experienced by this charge at this point will be equal to half mv square so that velocity will become zero and then it will return back so what is the potential energy of q1 when at this point you know it very well it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r this you know so uh, what is r we have to find r r will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 this is twice q1 q2 by mr sorry mv square or if radius uh, not radius if this point is if this length is given and you have to find velocity or whatever charge so you can apply this concept to solve such questions clear this is obviously they are of same polarity now a little twist in this example you have understood this now let's say this is not static then what will happen this will come to a point at which these two will start both of them will start moving let's say initial velocity was u so when it reaches this point now it pushes this point so both of the charged particles start moving obviously their speed will be same so let's say after reaching this point this and this do, both of them start moving at v question is clear we have a charge present here q2 another charge q1 of the same polarity comes with an initial speed of u we know at certain point because of repulsion these two points these two charges will come to a very close point from where both of them will start moving together if initial speed was u after they have reached that particular equilibrium point from there they'll start moving with the same velocity so from conservation of momentum you know initially the momentum was mau mu this only and after this when both of them have started moving together mv plus mv this will be moving with mv and this will be moving with mv so from here what you get this is 2 mv from here you get v is equal to u by 2 that is the velocity will be initial half of initial velocity clear now second part energy what will be the initial energy of the system initial energy will be simply half mv square nothing this was moving now when it has come to this point from which it has started both of them have started moving together what will be the energy there will be three types of energy first will be the kinetic energy of this first charge second will be kinetic energy of this charge and third will be the potential energy of the system when the charge q1 has come in contact to q2 so this will be first will be half uh, half mu square was initial energy was mu square so half mv square plus half mv square this is the net kinetic energy of the system when they are moving with velocity v and there will also be an electric potential energy which is which will be equal to you know 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by if the distance is r then the, it is r so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 bar 
So you will equate this, V is this, U is this, you can equate and you will get whichever variable is missing in your question. If say if U is missing or V is missing or you have to find the charge or the this distance of closest approach, whatever you can find from this. So this is the concept. Let me solve one more example or let me give you concept of one more widely used question in examinations. We have two charges. I am giving you the concept in, in your textbooks or in your uh, preparation books. You will find so many questions like this. You should understand the concept and then you go and solve your questions. We have two fixed charges. This is Q1 and this is Q2. Okay. These are fixed charges. Let us say at certain distance, let this distance be A. Okay. So at certain distance, at certain distance from this charge, from A from this charge, we have, you know, fixed another charge Q3. It is right now at rest. Now what we do, we release it. That is initial kinetic energy of this Q3 is 0, velocity is 0. Now we release. When we release, we find that it goes in this direction. Whatever be the, um, you know, configuration of the charges, let us assume this goes in this direction. That is, this was stronger, so this is pushing it. What is the velocity when it reaches, let us say, it is B from this. So, obviously, we will have to understand what is the total length between these two. Let it be R. You get the question? We have two fixed charges, Q1 and Q2. Another charge, Q3, is at rest at this point. Now we release it. That is initial velocity was 0. It is deflected towards this charge. So it goes to this charge. What will be the velocity? Velocity at this point when it is B distant away from Q2. You can put anything B distant from 1 or 2. This is the concept. See, we know the change in kinetic energy is simply, let us say this is of mass M1, this is of mass M2 and this is of mass M3. So we know change in kinetic energy is simply half m3 b square when it reaches this point this is the change in kinetic energy because these two are static what is the change in potential energy that is the potential energy when the charge was at this point and the potential en energy when the charge uh, charges at this point so change in potential energy will be equal to this change in kinetic energy so let's see what is the potential energy when it is at this point okay so potential energy when it is at let's say p1 and this is p2 so, potential energy when it is at P1, potential U, it will be, you know, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Because of this, what it will be? Q3 into Q1 by this distance, distance, sorry, length, that is A, and 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q3 into Q2, that is because of potential energy, because of this. So, what is this length? It is X R minus A. So, R minus A. Okay, you know potential energy at P1. Now, what is poten the potential energy when it is at P2? It will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q3 into Q1 because of Q1. See, this is R minus B. So, it is R minus B and then 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 because of Q2. So, this will be Q3, Q2 by B. So, this is the potential energy at P1, this is the potential energy at P2. So, del U, that is change in potential energy will be UP1 minus UP2. You will be in the uh, question, you will be given uh, the values of these variables. So, you can find this change in energy. So, you will equate this with this del U. So, you can find what is the velocity. Okay. Or whichever variable is absent and you have been asked in the question, you can put these values and so you can equate. Okay. I guess you are able to understand this. Now, I have discussed you potential energy because of charges. If this is because of certain electric field, the, let us say the electric field intensity of this is E. So, what will be the potential energy then? It is very simple. If you have to bring this put, uh, a charge Q to this point, you know it, the potential energy is simply Q into V and you know how to find V at this point. This you know dV by del V by del L is minus of this is E electric field. So, you know how to find potential. And when you know what potential is, you just multiply it with Q, that is potential energy, nothing else. So, this is a simple concept, nothing more than that. We have been using it by using charges as source of electric field. 
one more important thing is electron volt what is electron volt electron volt is the unit of energy how when one electron travels through a potential difference of one volt it is called electron volt one electron volt what is this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs into one volt so this will be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs volts okay so this coulomb volt is basically energy which is uh, joules so this amount of a joule is actually given as one electron volt so one electron volt is this so if you have to convert any energy into electron volt one electron volt sorry into electron volts you just divide it by this quantity and you will get the result in electron volt so this is the unit of energy uh, when we are dealing with electron proton subatomic particles this is more relevant figure